So Horizon West is still one of the most popular areas of Orlando, heck, if not the entire country, with the new construction and amazing location of this space. There's a lot of people that love to call it home. And so today I'm gonna take you through one of my newest listings as well as talk about five neighborhoods that I'm watching here in Horizon West. Stay tuned. So this property is the Tompkins 2 model by Kahov, and this property is four bedrooms, three and a half baths, and it's probably one of their most popular models, and you're gonna see why inside. It's got a massive office, really cool loft area. So let's take a look. Nice. All right, so this model was actually set up as a single story with an option for a bonus room upstairs. And so I would say that the way that they set it up here is probably the most popular option. You've got the office here, which easily sits two people from work from home. So if you're still doing virtual work from home, this is a great option. You can also convert that into a fifth bedroom if that's something you're after. One of the things before we get too deep into the house is all of the tech that they have already set up. You've got the Nest thermostat, so you can control that on the go. You've got the solar, which has already been paid off. Off. So if you're looking to sort of zero base your energy costs, that's a fantastic option that a lot of houses here don't have. And over on our left, we've got the Jack and Jill setup, and they really dialed in everything in this house from the flooring to those bathrooms. You've got the gentleman height counters with the quartz countertops and just really very well appointed, good sized rooms up front. All right, so as we enter back into this kitchen, they chose the gourmet option, which gives a ton of different upgrades. One of them is this massive island. You've got like six people that can sit over here. If you're an entertainer or you've got people that come over, this is an amazing spot. Or if you just have a big family, this will be for you. You've got the separated oven, microwave, and hood option, which just gives you a lot of open space in this kitchen, which is why the Tompkins 2 is like by far one of the more popular models because in this size of a house, you usually don't get this size of a kitchen. Make sure you show them the pantry before we go upstairs, okay? All right, let's go over here. Before we go into the primary here, you've got the kind of eat-in kitchen, so you've got plenty of space at the island plenty of space here. Some people use that upfront office space to redo it as a separate dining room if that's what you're after. But I think that this really flows very well for 2022 and are what people are after. So plenty of living space as it kind of pours out onto the lanai. And let's check out this primary bedroom. Plenty of space in the primary here. Nice tall ceilings. You do have fans in every single bedroom, which is a beautiful finish. And then check out this bath here. A few things I'll point out in this bathroom, you got the large soaker tub, dual sinks with the stack of drawers in the middle, so that was an upgrade. You've got this frameless shower and the rainfall shower head above you. Really good sized closet, and so this is just a great place to get ready or to relax after a long day. Another thing I love about this house is that you do have this screened in lanai and then you're on a corner lot here. So you have a little bit of a backyard and a side yard. So whether you've got kids, pets, any of that kind of thing, it's a great space to call home. All right, so one of the options for the Tompkins too, which I think is an absolute must, is this extra loft bedroom and bath combo. So you've got the crazy large office up front. You've got the eat-in kitchen downstairs, which the living room opens up to. But if you want a place for movie night or to stick the kids, this is it right here. One of the other reasons I love this neighborhood, which is Winding Bay, by the way, it's right off of Avalon Road, and you're kind of equidistant to everything. You're five minutes from Flamingo Crossing, 10 minutes from Hamlin Shopping, and just a really great location, maybe 10 minutes from the back end of Disney. But this neighborhood in it itself, it's got the dog park at the end of the street, you've got a resort style pool, and probably the lowest HOA in Horizon West that I can think of. It's like $70 a month. And so if you're looking for low cost maintenance, you've got the solar, this is a really great option. But if you're thinking new construction, let's jump in the car and talk about a few options that you might have. There's obviously pros and cons to looking at a resale house. I mean, that house was built in 2020 and really you just get to move right in. You know exactly what your payment's gonna be. You know exactly what your interest rate's gonna be. There's a lot of pros to buying resale and we're still seeing kind of a trickle of new listings in the area. It's not like a massive amount just yet anyways in Horizon West. And so your only other option is new construction. And there's obviously a little bit of risk there depending on if the market continues to go crazy straight up, flat lines, 
dips a little bit, you just really never know. Um, but if you're like new constructions, it, if you're like, I don't want someone else's backside on a toilet seat uh, and you want everything new, then let's talk about the five neighborhoods coming to the Horizon West area and the ones that I'm watching personally. All right, so Silverleaf over there by Meritage Homes is number one on the list of neighborhoods we're watching that are kind of getting developed. So the reason I like it is it's super close to the new middle school. You've got Hamlin Middle School opening up this fall. So massive relief school for the area. They're gonna take kids from Horizon West Middle, kids from Bridgewater and all the other new neighborhoods and put them there at Hamlin Middle. Uh, but you've got this neighborhood that's gonna go right around the middle school, starting in like the mid fives, it seems. Uh, and if you're familiar with Meritage Homes, they're I think a really solid mid grade builder. And so that's option number one, if you're thinking new construction. So this Avalon strip that we're going up and down here is really where the remainder of all the new construction in Horizon West is located. So you've got Silverleaf up north by Hamlin and then kind of all the way down. You've got plenty of other neighborhoods. Uh, Lennar has a neighborhood, T.R. Horton has a neighborhood, but we're kind of going down the list a little bit further to our number two that we're watching, which is MI Homes here at Encore at Ovation. They bought a ton more land right next to their first neighborhood. And if you came here like three years ago, you'd be like, this is in the middle of nowhere out here. There's nothing. And all of a sudden they finished out Encore. There's a couple houses left there. They've got their neighborhood here and the new one across the street that'll be coming on later this year, if not early next year. So it'll be interesting to watch this whole Encore area finally get built out. So there's probably 10 new neighborhoods up and down Avalon and everybody from Ashton Woods, MI Homes, Meritage, and that sort of thing. But the third builder I'm looking at today is Toll Brothers here on Hartsog Road. Hartsog Road's gonna have like five or six builders unto itself, and it's gonna be really nice when it's finished building out. Many of you might know that they had some water issues up and down this road, and one thing I wanna point out and sort of clarify what's going on on Hartsog Road is that they didn't have like a water quality issue. They actually had an easement issue about bringing water down the road. So they had to basically work with the old owners because somebody misfiled some sort of plat map at one time. Once they fix that, all of these neighborhoods will then start popping out and selling through. And so you've got West Haven at Ovation, which is a Toll Brothers neighborhood. I'm probably the biggest fan of Toll Brothers out of the production builders. So West Haven at Ovation by Toll Brothers is essentially going to have townhomes, estate size houses, and some of the rear entry kind of product that Horizon West is known for, uh, which is a different kind of departure on some of these houses that Toll Brothers not really used to. Uh, but I think still their quality is fantastic. Houses here are probably gonna range from the sixes on up and the townhouses, my guess, based on early pricing that I'm seeing is in the fours, fives. And so it'll be interesting to watch this, but let's go to neighborhood number four. So Del Webb at Oasis by Pulte Homes is essentially the only 55 and older adult community in Horizon West that's also gated. And what they're putting in here for amenities, I'm a little jealous. I, I kind of, you know, can't wait till I'm 55 plus because the amenity center that they're putting here is amazing. And so if you're looking for close to Disney, lock and go with good quality homes, then this Del Webb community here in Horizon West, I think is gonna be fantastic for you. Again, five minutes from Flamingo Crossing, you're right off New Hartzog Road. And so yeah, it's a good one. So the last neighborhood I'm excited about, and again, this is like no order of importance, just kind of like rounding out the five in the area is Osprey Ridge by Cahov. 
Um, they're the same builder that was the house that I showed you earlier, and so very similar models. And so if you're thinking like, hey, I want something new, and you want something similar to the house that I showed you earlier, you're gonna have to wait for it though, because they're not gonna start selling there probably for at least a few more months on top of the build time. And so if you're thinking about buying resale, you're thinking about buying new construction, you wanna see the house that I showed you earlier, make sure you reach out, info at positgroup.com. We'll reach out to you and get the party started. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.